I'm Heather. I'm Nate. And, and this, this is Lacey. Lacey. And, and this, this is, is our trip to Los Agadones. Los Agadones is just over the border in Mexico from Yuma, Arizona. It's a popular destination for people to go and get their dental work done. We knew Nate had some extensive work to be done, so we decided to rent a house from VRBO in Yuma. Yuma has lots of options. You can stay in hotels, they have lots of RV parks, there's even a casino right at the border. But they also have lots of houses to rent, and we decided that was the most comfortable way to get through this. Because I needed a lot of dental work. Here we go, off to Los Agadones. On our way on Highway 8, you start to see all the signs advertising all the dentists in Los Agadones. We started this journey because Nate went to the dentist and they told him he had a lot of work to be done. And they were going to drag it out over two years trying to work with our insurance. We had friends and neighbors that had gone to Los Agadones to get their dental work done and had told us what a wonderful experience it had been. And here's our exit, Algodonas Road. Take a left here, a couple miles down is the end of the road and you're at the border. There's the casino. Okay, so this little town we're going to has 5,000 people with 350 dentists. So we did a lot of research and we narrowed it down to our favorite four dentists. On our very first day, we were able to get appointments with all four dentists, including consultations and x-rays. I think that was the coolest part, being able to have your choice of so many dentists and then being able to meet with your top four in one morning Meet with them all and decide which one you felt most comfortable with. In the United States, the soonest I could get an appointment was one week out and the next one was three weeks out. Another advantage to having the work done in Los Algodones is they are used to people traveling from all over the world to see them. So they cater to getting the dental work done in a short amount of time. In the States, it could take three weeks to have a crown made, whereas in Los Algodones, they usually have it made overnight. And don't get me wrong, doing two years worth of dental work in five days is definitely rough, but it's nice to get it over with. It was really nice to get it over with in five days. It was a lot of work. I had six root canals, 15 crowns, and a bridge. So it was a ton of work and I was really exhausted, but with the nice house, I was comfortable the whole time. And uh, with the quality of work we had, it really made it easy. So this is it. Here's the parking lot just before the border. You can park here all day for $6 for a car. I believe it's $8 for an RV. As for me, I'm only getting two crowns put on, but I really, really hate going to the dentist. There is a giant parking lot here. In the winter, it sounds like it fills up pretty good, but right now in the summer, uh, we get it all to ourselves and there are parking spots right up front. Here we are, this is the border between the US and Mexico. We're just gonna walk right over and then we'll be there. You can even drive over the border if you wanted to.
We took this trip in the summertime. You just walk right over to the Mexico border. Coming back to the US, we had no lines. It was wonderful. We just walked right back into the States. We have heard in the winter time that getting back to the States can be quite a wait. In fact, we've seen videos where they've waited up to two hours. So going in the summertime is definitely the way to go. Well, that was easy. We're in Mexico. There are bathrooms right here after you cross the border. Welcome to Los Agadones. This little town is only two blocks wide, big, however you want to say it. But it only takes about 10 minutes to walk through the whole thing. All throughout the town, there are nice people at every doorway asking if you need a pharmacy, a dentist, or any optical services. They're there to help guide you to their own business, but they'll also help you find where you're going. We got a little lost, and one of them even walked us right over to our dentist's office. Of course, they have to tell you about their dentist while they're walking you, but they're still kind enough to walk you over. Every place we went to took American money, so there's no need to exchange your cash. Our dentist even took a personal check for her services at the end, which was really nice. This is Snowbird's Alley. It sounds like they get a lot of people down from Canada to get their work done here. Heather went shopping and got me some cool new sunglasses. They had beautiful artwork for sale all over the town. While the outsides of the buildings were very authentic, the inside looked just like any dentist's office in the States. Very clean and very sanitary. 
We met with four different dentists. Some we liked better than others. They all had different pricing, but they were all cheaper than the United States. We found one that we both really liked. This is our awesome dentist. She was super detail oriented and really professional and did amazing work. Thank, Thank you everybody, everybody for watching. watching. Goodbye, Goodbye from Los Agadones.